The Lord is present in this sanctuary. I've seen what's going on in this country, and though my family has been saddened by the news, this is just an allergic reaction to an ongoing issue in the United States. Just like the coronavirus, police brutality has yet to find a cure. It is a difficult time for us all, and we must all come together and come to the front lines to protect each other. These images associated with this will affect all of our lives for the rest of our lives. Not only did we lose a family member, but y'all watched as well. And y'all was helpless too. But we can't afford to have one or two percent doing the mess that we're doing right now. We walk around with all this power. And there needs to be some house cleaning. I didn't say spring cleaning. Spring cleaning means you're dusting and spraying. You need to take out the trash. Enough is enough. I'm telling law enforcement all over the world, if you see that mess, get it out of your house. The Lord is present in his people. It's been a long night, but morning, morning will come. Our children will not be the next hashtag. Our children will not be the next face that somebody changes on their social media profile. Enough is enough. If I have to demand legislation change, we will. If we have to meet with sheriffs, we will. If we have to meet with police chiefs, we will. If we have to yell it from the valley, scream it from the mountaintops, march in the streets and protest, we will. Enough is enough. Like a mighty stream. Oh, let our souls look up with a steadfast hope. And we look across the American landscape. And just like the servant, that, that nameless servant in the Bible, when we look across the landscape of America, I see it. I see it. It's off in the distance. I see it. It's small, but it's moving this way. Yeah, yeah. Moving this way. I see it. I, I see white evangelicals who are usually silent during racist times, beginning to speak up against the hate of racism. I see God's hand moving this way. Yeah. 